had but who cares and here's my quick review of terminator zero and I'm sure you might wonder why i sound a bit rough because the last couple of days i've been ill and um yes i've been rough but lucky enough this came out yesterday you know took my mind off it i've been watched the whole eight episodes in one go in my bed on my ipad so what i thought of this latest entry in the terminator franchise as we know the last couple of entries we got has been yeah duds this is a good entry this is a fantastic entry in the terminator franchise now does it have problems yes it does i explained that in the second but for what i said before with the lack of entries we got this is like the step the right direction for the fan size. It's an entry that we need for a long time. Something a bit more fresh, something that is good storytelling. Cause this is the thing, there is an amazing storytelling in this. And the most bad shit crazy thing is the Terminator fan size, there's so many stories you can tell in that world. I for five that no one got a good attempt. I think the only time it came close being good was the Sarah Connors series we got a couple years ago. That's the only time that it came close being, okay, this is a fantastic storytelling in this world. Except from that, we got a couple more movies and it all been, like I said before, duds. And with this, this is a good direction it went with, with anime. And again, I know some people going to say straight away, oh, you're an anime fan, what are you saying this? No, just the thing, I've been a big fan of the Terminator terminators movies for a very long time i love the original two i like number three too even though yeah there are problems with that but trust me compare what we get after number three number three is a far better film than those ones know what i mean obviously nowhere near good as one and two especially two know what i mean so what i can say about the fate of iron nation might say it's anime the way he done this one, it's like old school anime with um, what we got now put together. It's gorgeous to look at. The action scenes are fantastic. The cars are fantastic. There's some problems with the characters. We I explain that in a sec with the problems bit. And the music's there. And the story is very good. Again, I don't give too much away about the story because it's one of those things that I want people to watch it, you know what I mean? as it is because if I give one or two bit away people go okay oh that's gonna be it you know what i mean so with that bit out of the way on the positives you know with everything about it, it's fantastic there are some bit nervousness in this not most but a bit now the first narrative is the SO count i wish this is um another two episodes the reason why i'm saying that is the first two or three episodes are very slow yeah, the stuff happens in them, but for storytelling point of view, it is slow. And by the time we go to the second half of the um, anime, it becomes a bit more fast paced. So I wish it had another two episodes, but there's like one or two characters' backstory we find out a bit more. And it is fantastic storytelling, but you wish that was a bit more than 10 minutes in total. The back I wish it was a whole episode of telling the backstory because that story itself can be fun easy expanded on the how good the storytelling is but again because of the soul start it ends up being up near the end by the, the second half of the army they got the characters like there's one or two characters that i i do find annoying like one of them is this uh, middle boy it's a brother but he's like the middle one child he is just annoying in this. I don't care. He's just annoying. I get a kid, you know what I mean? But oh the god, it are oh, so annoying. Uh, in this whole thing. Except from that, that's my only problem with the whole anime, basically. With the West, it's fantastic to watch. Good storytelling. And uh, seriously, watch this anime. Even if you're not a fan of Terminator, it is easy to follow. It is so easy to follow. Ball. Uh, what I said on the thumbnail, it's another anime that saved a franchise. Think about it. 
what a um, Star Wars with the um, the army is it Echoes comments called you know with all the army shorts. There's so many Star Wars where you can get to in that, and people love it. And it's the same with this, you know, with Terminator. Because it's anime, it can expand on it, and the way it expands on the world of Terminator is fantastic. So if you wank this anime, I'm going to give it 9.5 out of 10. I'm not going to give it a paper 10 because I said there's one or two points got with it. But except from that, it is a 9.5 out of 10. It is fantastic. Tatter to watch. So we're going through my outro quickly, shall we? Okay, this is my outro. My um thing is, I, like I said before, I've been very ill the last couple of days and yeah, it's been fucking terrible. You know, it's had the flu and sinuses problems, but I feel like crap, you know what I mean? Thank goodness this army came off the right time because this is the thing I've been looking forward to this army since it got announced and it's what is on my top 10 list of my most hype um, souls to see this year and it delivers I think it delivers so my question of the day is what you thought of this anime and what other fan sizes you want to see as an anime because I got a couple of ideas myself with I might make a video on about you know fan sizes that could do an anime um, you know as a taste of just to expand it on that well you know what I mean so, if you like this video, if you like this review, give me a like. And please subscribe to my channel, you'll see more videos. Just been a break, who cares? See you on the next one.